Hey guys, it's Morgan coming back to you with another video on the 2023 300XC. Uh, it's getting ready to be built up and ready to go for the Silver King's Hard Enduro. Make sure you stay tuned for that video. That is coming soon. Uh, I'm going to go over everything I'm doing to this thing to really, truly get it ready for an actual Hard Enduro. Um, I've just got blah, less than a week <laughs> left before we go. So here in just a few days, I'm going to be tearing this thing down getting it ready, doing some changes and good stuff. So, uh, but today I want to talk about the new pipe I've got. Uh, really, really excited about this uh, beautiful piece of art from the people at Moto's in Turkey. They were kind enough to get me one of these. I did pay for it, um, but uh, they got me one when they're really, really hard to get and at a discount. So thank you very much, guys. Um, but I love the gnarly pipe on this bike. It really does give the bike good low end. Doesn't really rob any top end that I can feel. I don't spend that much time in the over rev on the 300. So I like the gnarly pipe a lot. I like the stock pipe a lot too. This is supposed to be their torque pipe. Uh, so hopefully it also has good low end. Um, but one thing we all wanna know uh, when we're doing this hard and stuff, jumping over logs and rocks and things like that is what is the clearance like? So. This video is all about the install and then measuring clearance. So let's start with measuring the clearance on this gnarly pipe right now. All right, so this pipe is relatively straight. I did bend it up a little bit here, but I blew it out. So this is basically full size and it's not really strapped. I got straps on the bike, but it's not strapped down. You can see they're nice and loose. I just don't want it to fall over. So let's go here. That is right at 15 inches, right at 15 inches. So now let's remove this and show you what it takes to install the new motos. Obviously super easy. Got a few torque dents in this guy, but um, this pipe is actually held up really well to my beating. Again, big fan of the FMF gnarly, always have been on all my bikes. So the um, thing about pretty much every pipe, as you can see on the new style uh, KTM, they just have these um, mounts that are aluminum sleeves or whatever you wanna call them, and then a rubber grommet. So you gotta take those out and install on the new pipe. All right, so now I'm gonna test the clearances on Motos, make sure they're the same. This is the thing about aftermarket stuff. It's little things like this hole. Is it the same size as it's supposed to be? Is it not? Uh, it just seems like it is. Um, but you know, some cheaper aftermarket stuff, that's where you can really start to see differences is in the little details. All right, everything fits well. It comes with nice uh, Viton O-rings. Now let's see how it fits. Actually, I'm gonna clean the cylinder flange out real fast. So we get a, a nice seal. Uh, it's always a test to see if it's gonna line up with the stinger and the cylinder. All right, so it's not, perfect right now um but we have to remember that this bike has gotten a hundred hours on it now and has been beat up so what i normally do to make this easier um is, you know because my pipes are all usually bent is i take the silencer off so i'm gonna take the silencer off now <clears throat> Now let's mount this up and see how it fits with the mounts and then we'll see if, what we need to do to adjust it for the cylinder or for the stinger.
All right, guys, the mount holes are lining up really good. Mount holes lined up perfectly. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. Now let's see how it goes with the silencer <clears throat> when I have it off and then we line it up. Oh yeah, perfect. Sometimes guys, <clears throat> you just gotta do it in that order, but that slid right on. No problem. Bolt holes line right up. It's because this has an angle to it and this has an angle to it so they match. And if it's already in, you know, it's like it's off because it needs to come together to match. So um, yeah, fits perfectly. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that thing. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> All right, now let's measure the clearance. So the other one was 15. <clears throat> Low point on this. So right at 15 also. So same clearance as a gnarly. I honestly don't know what the clearance is on a uh, stock one. So maybe someone could comment here and let us know. Um, so no difference in ground clearance. That's fine with me. Um, I don't mind it because I feel like that's good clearance. Uh, it's definitely, you know, above the skid plate. It's a two stroke, so pipes are consumable, unfortunately. So now I'm gonna blow this one out, get it all shiny and perfect. Uh, I gotta blow one out my other 300 over there too. Um, and then that way I'll have this as a spare at the race, just in case. I'm also gonna take my whole motorcycle as a spare at the race, just in case. Uh, and yeah, guys, stay tuned, subscribe, all that stuff, because we're going to be testing this thing. I'll let you know what I think about its uh, performance. It's definitely a different uh, shape. I can see it from here. Like the FMF has to have this dent for uh, clearing the radiator. This does not. So this is a very different shape here. Uh, I can see kind of go like that. There you go, you can kind of see. Uh, definitely both bulge here pretty heavily. And I would say this uh, Moto stays a little bit skinnier, uh, maybe longer, but then the bulge is definitely, it's different. So I'm excited. All those little changes in shape make huge differences in how a bike runs, a two-stroke. The pipe on a two-stroke is integral. It's incredibly important uh, to how the bike's gonna run. Whether it's gonna have more torque, more over rev, uh, more linear power, more peaky power, all that stuff. It's all based on sound waves and magic, honestly. Uh, so I'm excited to test this thing out. We're gonna take it racing. We're gonna beat on it. We're gonna let you guys know what we think about it and it's gonna be awesome. I uh, hope you like that little video. Check out Motos. I'll put a link in the description. You can go check them out. They make all kinds of cool stuff they used to make big cages and stuff i don't know that they do anymore uh but they're in turkey which is crazy uh and they ship fast i think this took like five days to get here so shorter than some of our local stuff uh and the shipping was only like 30 dollars, so not a terrible setup uh thanks motos thank you guys for watching we'll see you on the next one